everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my face with all Charlotte Tilbury products. For many, many years now, I've been a huge Charlotte Tilbury fan. I honestly use her products for most things I would say from foundation, powder, eyeshadow, face palette, everything. If you aren't familiar with the brand Charlotte Tilbury, she was a celebrity makeup artist and she has started her own makeup line. Honestly, all of her products are not only great, great, great quality, but also just her colors for everything just fits everyone like even if one color doesn't fit everyone there's definitely a color that she's made out there that fits you whether it's her lipstick her face palette whatever it may be today's look is not gonna be like an everyday look because it is a little bit heavier than what i usually go for the inspiration has actually come from her very own instagram page i actually follow her on instagram and i feel like i watch her content so much on that platform just the way she applies other people's makeup and all different ethnicities as well she just rocks it every single time i highly recommend if you are a fan or if you like my look today to check out her Instagram page because this look is actually highly inspired by the looks that she's created on her page as well. So anyway, I think that's enough talking from me. Um, I'm just gonna get on started with doing the look. I will see you guys in a bit and also don't be shocked by my no makeup face. Okay guys, so the, oh my God, I feel like something is in my eye. Is it going? Nope. The first thing I'm going to start using is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This item is actually one of her most famous products. So if you guys don't already know, she created this cream and formula herself when she was a celebrity makeup artist and everyone fell in love with the formula and kind of asked her to create this. This is always something that she puts under every celebrity's face before she does their makeup, especially for the Victoria's Secret Runway show. This one is is super hydrating. It is definitely a little bit heavier, but surprisingly it is pretty good under makeup. This is the product that I use. And if you can see, I'm already, this is actually like a huge bottle and I'm already almost done it. I even have a travel version, which I'm almost done too. After that, I'm gonna go in with some eye cream and this one is her Magic Eye Rescue Eye Cream. This one, I'm just gonna put it under my eye. And fun fact, I recently learned this a few months ago. When you put on eye cream, you're actually supposed to put it on your bone right here that surrounds the eye and this is because the cream settles towards your eyes so when you put it way too close to your lids it will go into your eyes so it's actually better to put the eye cream just under like right here i don't know if i'm going to show you the container because it is starting to pull lump because it's towards the end okay so now the skincare portion is done the next product i'm going to use is primer and the primer i'm going to use is the wonder glow primer what i really like about this primer especially if you do like more of a dewy skin look it gives you such a nice glow underneath your foundation. This is the one I've been using for a really long time and I've already finished a bottle. This is actually my second bottle. I'm gonna go in with the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So this is what it looks like. It's actually not my everyday foundation because it is higher coverage. So my everyday foundation is actually the Light Wonder Foundation in the color Refair. So this is what it looks like. It's actually very similar to her primer. So when you pick the product up, make sure you look at the top and see what it says. As you can see, one says Light Wonder and the other one says Wonder Glow. Wonder Glow is the primer and Light Wonder is the foundation. Don't get mixed up because you're gonna wonder why one of them is not giving any type of coverage and that's because it's the primer. Today, because I just thought it should be a more extra look and also I feel like I've already done my everyday makeup and this one is honestly something that a lot of people have been hyping about. So this is the one I wanna show you today. Truly guys, this is the foundation that every time I wear it because the coverage is so good, everyone's always wondering like, oh my God, how did your face get so smooth? Well, this is the foundation. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see my face. As you guys know, I really like to put the foundation on my hand and dab it over. I've already explained why I like to do it this way. It's just because honestly, foundation is so expensive. Make sure that when you are applying foundation, you're not wasting it and just, you wanna try to dab as much as you can already and just use your beauty blender to come in and do what it's supposed to do, which is blend. 
Make sure when you put on your foundation, you also apply and blend some down towards your neck and that way you won't have just a really harsh line between your face and your neck that looks very different. I don't know if you guys can see, but this foundation is so good. It just covers up everything so perfectly. Like I said, I don't use this from a day-to-day -day basis, but I do use it when it's special occasions or I want to have your coverage. So the next product I'm going to use is the Magic Away liquid concealer. It has a sponge in front and it honestly reminds me of the Maybelline concealer and I just always love this because you can just apply it directly on. If you guys are wondering why nothing is coming out, it's because it's a new bottle. I've already finished one entire one so this is now my second one. As you can see, I go through a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products because I genuinely do swear by her products. If you guys already follow me on Instagram or even TikTok, I just created a TikTok video. The entire makeup routine pretty Pretty much is from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just such a big fan of her products and all of her products are just really great quality and just made in such a beautiful way and the colors always just kind of match my skin tone. So yeah, that's why I really like it. Basically, I'm just gonna draw like a V shape as usual. Honestly, I can see myself going a little bit lighter in this concealer shade. Oh, it just applies so smoothly on the eye. I've also been doing concealer on my eyelids now just to make it lighter. And that way, when you apply color and eyeshadow on top, it makes it stand out a lot more. That's definitely one of my biggest makeup tips is putting concealer on the lid of your eyes. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this already as well, but with concealer for under eye especially, I like to go about a shade or two lighter than my regular foundation. This one is quite close to the color of my foundation, so I feel like I could go maybe one shade lighter, but it's fine. The color that I have in this concealer is 3 Fair, and sorry, for the foundation, I have it in 4 Neutral. Oh my god, it's just such a perfect coverage. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna put a little bit more in the inner corners of my eyes just to kind of brighten that area up. After I do the foundation and the concealer, I'm going to move on to powdering my face. The first one is the Airbrush Flawless Finish, and this is what the package looks like. And when you open it, it's just this compact powder. And I just take a bigger brush and I just kind of like lightly dust this all over my face to set the foundation. But I actually avoid the under eye area because I'm going to be using her translucent powder. I've had her translucent powder for a really long time, and this one is almost running out. I had her first iteration of translucent powder. I've already complained, well not complained, I've already told their PR company my feedback on this product, which is the smell of it. It's not the most pleasant, but it works really well. So function, amazing. Smell, not so much. Sometimes when I use it, I hold my breath a little bit. I do believe that they are making V2 or V3 of this product and trying to get rid of the smell. Apparently a lot of people gave the same feedback. But hopefully if you buy it now, it's gonna not have this problem but I've had the OG version of this product, so it still has a smell. I even asked why there is a smell anyway associated with this product, and they all told me it's just because she tried to have the most natural components to the product, so they didn't add any type of like fragrance or whatever, so I don't know. That's their explanation, but I'm sure if you buy it today, it's not gonna have that issue. So anyway, I just go and I dip the translucent powder with my beauty blender, and I just will lightly go over this area. So from an everyday perspective, I actually do not even bake my face. I really just put the lightest form of translucent powder. After doing the translucent powder, I'm gonna go and do my brows. For this product, I actually don't have the Charlotte Tilbury one because I ran out and I haven't replenished it. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. I'm gonna do this really quickly because I've already had like a mini eyebrow tutorial in my everyday makeup. So I'm just gonna zoom by this. And if you guys want to see how I do my eyebrows, I will leave a link to my old everyday makeup routine it hasn't changed so i will just leave that there for you okay so now that my eyebrows are done i'm gonna go on with eyeshadow and i have so many exciting palettes to show you guys so i've zoomed in to my face a little bit more so you guys can see the eye actually i might just zoom in even more and scare the hell out of you guys okay so the palette i'm gonna be using is called easy eye palette for the charlotte darling look this is what it looks like and sorry it's like so smudgy okay so this is what it looks like and the inside is so beautiful it looks like this 
and what I love about it is when you first buy the palette, it comes with this thing over top. So it actually gives you instructions on how to use the colors. So as you can see, there's actually two looks in this palette. You could use one, two, three here, and then one, two, three. These three is one eye look, and these three make up another eye look that you guys could be using. What I'm gonna do this time is I'm actually going to be using a combination of everything. Obviously, you are free to mix and match, okay? The first thing is that I'm gonna prime my eyes, and I've said this a million times about Charlotte Tilbury products and why I love them. It's because for her eye products, you do not need a primer because she has kindly already put a primer ingredient into the first color so this one and this one so what i do is i always just take my fourth finger and i rub it against the color and i smudge it all over my eye and as you can see it is so pigmented and it is beautiful so i just do this all over my eye and this is already my primer i'm gonna do this for the other eye what I find about her products also is her products are very finger friendly. So I can't say that about some of the other eyeshadows out there in the market, but definitely for Charlotte Tilbury's, her products are very, very finger friendly. I can actually do a whole eye look with just my fingers and I could be fine. For the second color, I'm actually gonna use one of her pot eyeshadows. So this one is the rose gold eyeshadow. It just looks like this and it comes in a pot and it's just very, very creamy. So what I'm gonna do is dab it in here and I'm gonna just draw like a half moon color, just kind of right here. This technique can be used by everyone, but I find that it's a especially helpful, especially if you're like me and you have lids that kind of like roll over your eyes because I'm Asian and Asians are literally the only people that have this problem. There is no other ethnicities with monolids and hooded lids. So this is especially good because like I said, the creaminess makes the product stay on a lot longer. So I do this in like a half moon shape like this, kind of just going all over. What I like about it as well is that it has really good buildability. So you can put as much as you want. For me, I really am trying to go for this rosy glam look today. It looks like I'm doing a lot, but the minute I open my eyes because my eyelids are hooded, it just disappears. So that's why you have to put on a lot, you know what I'm saying? But after this is done, you gotta darken the outer corners of the eye. So I'm gonna go back to the palette that I was just using and I'm gonna take the darker shade. I'm actually gonna use this dark shade right here and go like this so you can see how it is becoming darker. And I don't really care that it's starting to look messy because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend this out. This is the look that I always go for but I feel like I should probably come up with some new techniques. And then now you blend it and then it kind of just looks like that. So this is now the enhanced look. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the same dark color here and I'm just gonna do the inner corners to close it off. This step is extremely important because it doesn't look top heavy. It just loops back around to your eye. There you go. That is me kind of closing this off right here. The last thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take another pot shadow that she has. And this one is called Eyes to Mesmerize. And it is such a perfect name because the color looks like this. And it is this really beautiful champagne -y light color. I actually like to just dab it with my fourth finger. I like to use this for the inner corners of my eyes. The other one was already really bright and it primed the inner corner, but this one just brightens it up completely. Do you see the difference? This one was already kind of bright from the primer shade and it already primed the area to let the eyeshadow sit longer. But now I'm gonna go in with the real showstopper. After that is done, I am finally going to be moving the powder from this area because it honestly does throw me off sometimes. I'm like, why does my makeup look like that? When you have eyeshadow that kind of like falls onto your face, you can brush it off with the rest of the translucent powder and it doesn't get on your face and leave all these eyeshadow marks. After this is done, I'm gonna put on eyeliner. Once again, I'm not gonna show the eyeliner portion because it's stayed the same. So I will rush through my eyeliner, mascara, and my eyelashes. And for mascara, I am using her Full Fat Lashes mascara, but I think she came out with a better one 
mine at this point but this is the one that i'm gonna use but anyway i'm gonna just brush through this process because as you guys have probably seen in my other tutorials it hasn't really changed Now that the eyeliner, mascara, and eyelashes are done, I'm going to be moving on to the face. And honestly, when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury products, this is probably out of all the products I absolutely love. The product that I will be using is this face palette. It is the Glowgasm face palette, and this is in the color Lovegasm. This is honestly such a game changer for me because every single color just goes with what I need perfectly. The first thing I'm going to be using is the blush. I don't know why. Why I always start with blush but whatever I actually combine both of these colors and just swirl it around like this so I just put it in the cheek area and it also has this really beautiful glitter to the blush that it just do you see the difference here it just looks so beautiful so I like to go like this so I kind of know where exactly to put the blush this is kind of what we end up with and then going in for the bronzer. I always do my jawline to make it sharper. So I start up here and then I just follow through with the line, making sure I blend it so it doesn't just look like one sharp line, but it's the darkness that gives off a sharper chin look. And then of course, a little bit on the forehead. I remember back when I had bangs, my forehead was all covered and I definitely wouldn't have needed to contour. Not like I knew how to contour at that point. And then lastly, I'm gonna go with the brow brightening highlighter here so once again just kind of fanning it here my secret when it comes to the highlighter is i like to use my finger and once again back to the fourth finger so i literally just aggressively rub through and then i dab a little bit on the nose and also the forehead the biggest game changer for me is the cupid's bow so just right here like that and then definitely even using my finger a little bit more to do this so I didn't get to use them today but I actually have all of these sticks from Charlotte Tilbury that is basically the same highlighter contour whatever all of this but in a tube and all liquid I'm not going to show you all of them because well there's no point of doing this and that I wanted to show you this more so because it is something that I use every day so that's why I wanted to pull that out for you but I do use this quite often as well these are her highlighters so on top of this if you want to be extra and I just kind of want to show you like this one is a different color but whatever I just, you know, you put it on top. It's just this really nice liquid consistency. And she has this for blush as well as contour. And then to close off this whole look, I'm gonna use the Pillow Talk Lip Liner. I really need to sharpen this again. This is the perfect pink shade. If you guys have seen my other videos, you will know that her pillow talk line holds near and dear to my heart because it's just such a great pink, especially for my skin tone. But she has also recently made medium shades and darker shades for people with heavier skin tones. So after doing that, I'm now gonna put on the lip gloss. Her pillow talk lip gloss has been my everyday favorite ever since I was gifted this product. I've been using it every single day and I even mentioned it in my February favorites video. What I love about this lip gloss, I'm not going to repeat myself too much, but it's very hydrating and it also just has a nice color to it. It's not just the shine, it also has the pillow talk colors. So usually you can just use it by itself and it gives you this really nice shine. So there you have it. This is pretty much the full makeup look with all Charlotte Tilbury products minus you know one or two so that was pretty much the look for today i really hope you guys enjoyed this look if you want me to do more makeup tutorials please leave a comment down below and make sure to like this video i hope you enjoy this look i haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long so honestly if it was a little rough it's because it kind of was for me um, i was just trying to get the hang of things again but yeah that's all for me today so i will see you guys in the next video bye